Jeff Demore here, Converter Accessory Corporation. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you uh, Converter Accessories new and improved spring-loaded adjustable anti-wrinkle system. This system is used for taking wrinkles out of webs of material such as uh, films and papers, textiles and non-wovens. Um, this is a, uh, a test stand that we have set up. Um, we have a rewind stand running very slowly. The material is just um, uh, flowing very slowly right now through the machine. And if you take a look here, you'll see some slight wrinkles across the web. Um, there's not a lot there. This, this particular web does have a, a loose side and, and the other side is tight, which will cause wrinkles, very slight wrinkles like that. But in order to show you how this system works, I'm actually going to uh, skew this roll in the machine. Pretty much right now, all the, all the rolls in this machine are pretty well lined up. What I'm going to do is skew this roll on purpose, and you'll see more wrinkles uh, put into the web, and then I'm going to take those wrinkles out. So right now, this roll is parallel to this roll. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is loosen up the uh, uh, bolts on this mounting block. I'm going to slide this uh, quite a bit of distance. So now this roll is skewed to this roll, and you'll see you're going to wind up with more wrinkles in this span, and also in the in the following span after after that. So the adjust to pull anti-wrinkle system right now is not engaged with the web. Uh, these are, this is the adjust to pull anti-wrinkle system and it's, uh, it's, a, it's what we call a nip type anti-wrinkle system. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to engage uh, this set um, and that set with each edge of the web and that will take the wrinkles out. So, um, and I'm going to explain to you how that works in a minute, but um, so what we're going to do is, uh, this is CAC's optional mounting bracket. This mounting bracket allows us to change the angle of the nip set and also allows us to adjust for web width variations. So the spring-loaded ones, you just have to open them, open them up, slide this assembly along the rail, let it close, and then tighten the nut on the rail assembly so now it won't move. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. <clears throat> now, as I said, uh, this assembly, this uh, optional uh, mounting bracket includes an uh, angle adjustment with a, with a uh, dial indicator on it. I always recommend to my customers to start around a 15 degree angle, so I'm going to adjust this to around 15 degrees. There's a dial indicator on there that shows they're 15 degrees. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now, you can, you can use these adjust, this adjustable system without the um, bracket. The bracket is optional, but if you purchase the adjustable system without the bracket, there's a single bolt hole mounting, and in order to adjust the angle, you would have to loosen this bolt and twist these by hand. The nice thing with the optional mounting bracket is you can adjust the angle on the fly. So um, what you're going to see right now with this system is if you take a look, you're going to see a lot of wrinkles in this span here. And then you're going to see wrinkles coming into the adjuster pulls. And then on the output side of the adjuster pulls, that you'll see the web is nice and flat. It's perfectly flat. The, and that's uh, how this system works. It works based on the web handling principle that a web will seek a 90 degree angle to a roll and its entry span to that roll. So when we angle these adjuster pulls relative to the flow of the web, this edge of the web is trying to maintain a 90 degree angle to this set of rolls, and it's doing the same thing on the other side. So those, angle, those adjuster pulls are angled away from each other, and each of those angles is pulling the web to each side. It's 
very similar to having a person on each edge of your web, literally pulling on the web, taking wrinkles out. That's how they work. The spring-loaded adjusted poles um, have a uh, spring adjustment here. There's a knob. So if you want to adjust the amount of pressure in the nip, you can do that by turning this knob, and that will increase or decrease the pressure in the nip. Um, and uh, uh, this machine will run a lot faster right now. Again, we're going very, very slow. I'm going to speed up the machine. You'll see that it'll, they work equally well at higher speeds. So again, you'll see a lot of wrinkles coming across the top here. You'll see wrinkles in this span, but on the output side of the adjusted poles, there are no wrinkles. The, uh, almost all of the spreading action, almost all of the anti-wrinkle action, takes place in the entry span to the rolls. And you'll see all that, all those wrinkles taken out, they're nice and smooth on the output side of the adjusted poles. Um, in addition, this is CAC's uh, adjustable bow roll. I'm going to show that in, a, in another video that's not in this video. One other product that we manufacture is uh, the adjustable pulls are available with an uh, air cylinder, air loading, instead of being spring loaded. Uh, I'm going to show these in a separate video as well. Thank you for watching the video.